everyone in this video we will be talking about Galileo's observations now Galileo was a famous scientist who was very much interested in physics maths astronomy as well as philosophy and one of his main contributions to the scientific world was his study on the motion of bodies in inclined planes now he uh, found out that when a body, I mean a moving body has no external unbalanced forces acting on it, then there will be no change in its velocity of movement. It will be moving forever with the same velocity throughout. And when a body uh, rolls down an inclined plane like this, its velocity increases. That is, it has certain velocity uh, when it started rolling from this point but by the time it reaches the end of this end I mean here its velocity has increased now when a body climbs up an inclined plane what happens is its velocity decreases and it reaches to zero at some point of time that is when it uh, it climbs a certain inclined plane its velocity decreases now what Galileo did in his experiment was that he placed two such inclined planes in such a way that these two planes faced each other like this now Galileo argued that when a marble is uh, released from this height that is this point here then it would roll down this first inclined plane and then it would climb up the uh, second inclined plane and what will happen is it will reach the same height in the second inclined plane as well now what I'm trying to say is here these two uh, planes are identical in their angle of angles of inclination that is this these two angles of inclinations of these two planes are exactly the same and now when the marble is released from this point it rolls down the first plane and then climbs up the second plane that is to the right and what it does at the end is it reaches the same height from where it was released and it reaches to the right corner at the same height now when the marble is released from left it would roll down the slope and go up to the opposite side to the same height from which it was released now here what happened is these two angles of inclinations were the same so when this marble has covered the same height it has also covered the same distance that is the distance that it has covered while rolling down is exactly equal to the distance that it has covered while rolling up in order to reach the same height that is this distance is equal to this distance okay and this is because the two angles of inclinations are the same now we can vary these angles and study what can happen afterwards now what happened in the first case was the uh, marble has rolled down the first plane and then it has climbed the second plane and it has reached the same height by covering the same distance on both the sides now when we reduce this angle to the right hand side of uh, uh, the figure here then what would happen is now what we have done here is we have reduced the angle of inclination uh, to the, uh, in the right hand side and here the left hand side angle of inclination is greater than the angle of inclination in the right hand side. Now what happens here is the marble again rolls down and climbs up the right hand the right side inclined plane and even in this case it reaches the same height in that side now what is the difference here the difference here is that it has covered a different distance in both the sides that is the distance it has covered to reach the same height in the right hand side is greater than the distance it has covered while rolling down from this inclined plane and this is because the angle of inclinations are different 
and in this side the angle of inclination is less as compared to the left side. So here the marble rolls up and covers a greater distance in order to reach the same height in the right plane. Now let us even more we can even decrease this angle and find out what happens. Now when we decrease this angle to a further extent then what happens is in order to reach the same height this marble covers even a greater distance that it has covered before. Here it has covered a further more distance than it has covered while rolling down. And when we, when we decrease this angle to the right hand side again, we see that this marble covers even greater distance in this case. That is, in an attempt to reach the same height to the right hand side, it covers a greater distance. Now, if we go on decreasing this angle to the right hand side, then what would happen is eventually we would make this angle to zero. That is, we would reduce the slope of this right inclination to zero. And in that case, what will happen is the marble will roll down this first plane as usual, but it would, it would roll uh, to the second plane forever because no matter how long it rolls it would never reach the same height that it has initially released from so in this case the marble rolls forever in an attempt to reach the same height so what happens is the unbalanced force on this marble is zero here we have assumed that we have kind of assumed that the unbalanced force on this marble is zero but in practice it doesn't happen and we know that very well because there are so many uh, forces which come into play as soon as a body starts moving for example uh, the frictional force the air resistance and all that and here we can conclude one thing that is an external unbalanced force is required to change the motion of an object but no net external force is needed to maintain the uniform motion that an object is already making. Okay. Now, what happens in practice is that this marble rolls down and then rolls for a while and then comes to a stop. And we know very well that this is because of the extra forces that comes into play when a, this marble starts rolling or starts moving. And that is what we call as the frictional force, which depends upon the area of contact of the two surfaces. And here we can also reduce this effect of frictional force by uh, just simply modifying the surfaces that are coming in contact while the marble rolls in this inclined plane. So what we can do is that uh, we can uh, use a smooth marble or, and a smooth plane or we can make the plane and the marble smoother by, uh, by applying grease or any other kind of lubricant. And this would reduce the effect of the frictional force that comes into play as soon as the marble starts moving. Now from this experiment, this whole experiment, what Galileo concludes is that it is the tendency of the body to oppose any change in its state of motion or rest. That means that if a body is in a state of rest, then it is its tendency, that is uh, the body has a tendency to maintain its state to rest. It would resist any kind of change in its state. That means it would re resist any kind of movement in its state. Suppose a body is in motion already and uh, since the body is in motion, it is its tendency to maintain the same state always. So here the tendency of the body is to oppose any change in its state of motion, be it a state of rest or a state of motion. Now this tendency of a particular body has got a separate name and uh, which is called as inertia. So inertia is the property of any body we take to oppose 
any change in the state of motion or the state of rest in whatever state they are already existing. So, in this video, what we have learned is the velocity of the body increases when it rolls down an inclined plane and it decreases when it rolls up an inclined plane. If the body rolls, if the body rolls between two planes inclined equally, then it will attain the same height on both the sides as we have seen in the Galileo's experiment. If the inclination of the second plane is gradually decreased, then the body rolls over a larger distance in an attempt to reach the same height from which it was released. When the second plane is made horizontal, the body continues to move indefinitely. But in practice, the body comes to rest after some time because there are certain forces like force of friction which come into play whenever the body starts rolling or the body starts moving. When the surface of the second plane is rough, the body would cover a lesser distance. Now when the body, uh, when the surface of the second plane as well as the surface of the body is a little rough, which means that there will be a frictional force which is greater in this case. And this would make the body roll a lesser distance because the frictional force here is more as compared to the one it would have when the surfaces are smooth. Now from this whole experiment what Galileo concluded was that it is the tendency of the body to oppose any kind of change in the state of rest or of motion which it is already into. So with this we have reached the end of this video and I hope the Galileo's experiment was fully understandable to you. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.